All right, so what are the key ingredients you need to work remotely? Computer, check, good internet, hopefully a check, uh, some chat apps, a dedicated workspace. Um, there are definitely elements of kind of discipline and self-motivation that you need to be productive. Um, and I've even found myself in the past week, like being on a Zoom call with somebody where neither one of us says anything for 15 minutes. We're both just like working on the project and we're there connected if we have a question. Um, and I also feel like while I'm listening to him breathe and he's listening to me breathe, I'm not going to like go play a game on my phone. <laughs> you know, uh, there's the accountability of, oh, okay, we're working on this. We also were both in the same Google Docs. We can see each other type and stuff. And like we were putting together the language that we needed to send um, out to students and judges for like the entrepreneurship challenge pitch competition. So, um, and, and have a good routine. And this is something, again, you can practice with each day. You know, we're talking about working remotely. The same exact thing applies to what the rest of your college semester looks like. You know, figure out your routine um, and eliminate distractions. All right. So you want to prevent yourself from seeing lots of shiny objects. If you want to just stare at a wall instead of being on the kitchen table with siblings and parents, you know, running around doing all sorts of stuff, find a quiet room. Um, don't have social media app on your phone uh, or on your computer. There's a great plugin for Chrome you can download called Newsfeed Eradicator, which just blocks the entire Facebook newsfeed so you can't get sucked into that uh, dark hole. Um, being as old as I am, I have no idea how to block TikTok from being distracting, if that's what you're into these days. Um, Clyde's solid reaction. Um, whatever it is, find times throughout the, the day where maybe you take a five minute break and scroll through it, check on a few things, but don't have it constantly open and feel like, you know, that is reducing your ability to focus on the things you want to get done and need to get done that day. Boom. 10 ways to help avoid distractions. First and foremost, make a schedule. You know, um, what you put on your calendar tends to be what you spend your time on and whether or not you were good at organizing a calendar before this moment in time, I might challenge you to get better at it over the next month. Put your classes on your calendar. If you're going to um, maybe you can even schedule like Zoom hangouts with friends, your college roommates. Um, I had two of my buddies join a Zoom call the night before St. Patrick's Day with their wives. So six of us hung out, had some Guinness, you know, uh, had a pre-holiday celebration via Zoom. Like there's ways to hang out and, and feel connected even if you are social, socially distant. Um, another really important thing to not get distracted is to make sure you get enough sleep. All right. Um, and... I recommend eight hours a night. Stay up as late as you want. I don't know. Well, maybe you have morning classes or I don't think any of you are on the West Coast. I know I've got some other students in California that getting up for an 8 a.m. That's now a 5 a.m. That sounds pretty terrible. Um, but it's also important that you eat healthy. Uh, you've got a nutritious breakfast. Uh, I'm a big fan of the kind breakfast bars or some fresh fruit. Make a smoothie. Um, at the very least, get something in, um, in you. Uh, and make sure you have a clean workspace. Uh, don't have 20 papers lying out all over the place. That just leads to more distractions because then you see something like, oh, that thing, I got to do that. Like, try to have it neat and organized. Um, you can also turn off your phone or maybe put your phone in airplane mode. You know, um, pro tip if your phone's in airplane mode, the first time somebody calls you, goes right to voicemail, they call you back right away, it'll ring. So I know I have a couple friends who do this most of the time. And I like, call, it goes right to voicemail, I just call them right back. I'm like, oh, hey, Mike, what's up? Um, you know, so if people need to get through, they can. Um, and that's do not disturb mode, I guess, not airplane mode. Airplane mode, I don't think it'll ring. Um, and you can also, you know, let people know that you're working and set expectations with your family or your coworkers or whoever, roommates, whoever it might be that, hey, this is my work time uh, and I need to be st stay focused and locked in here. 